hey guys welcome back again so in this video let's see that how do we create an options menu inside an android application so basically there are three kinds of menu inside android application firstly we have the options menu in the app bar and that is what we are going to talk about in this video and then we have the context menu and the pop-up menu and if you don't know that what an options menu is so if you open this application or if we see this application so we see that there are three dots here and if we click on this thing here then a menu is displayed here and basically this options menu doesn't comprise only of these four things here that is the settings compose delete and login but also these three items that is the search icon the profile icon and the edit icon is also included in this options menu so let's see that how do we create this options menu and then how do we lay out the items inside this options menu that is that what all items do we want to have visible here that is when we click on these three dots here and then what all items do we want to be present inside the app bar that are these three icons that is the search icon the profile icon and the edit icon so that's what we are going to do in this video so let's jump into android studio and here i've created a new application with an empty activity as we can see here and if you open the activity main.xml file there is only this text view that is hello world and if we open the build.gradle file we see that we have the minimum sdk version of 16 and the targeted sdk version of 29 though whatever we are going to do in this video would be applicable on api level 11 and above but we are already on min sdk that is 16. so firstly to create this menu that is this options menu we need to create a, a folder that is called menu inside our project and inside this resource directory we need to create another directory called menu so let's create that so we right click here new android resource directory and here firstly we select the resource type and the resource type would be the menu resource type and then the directory name would be changed accordingly and it is called menu so now let's click on ok and now we see that here we have a new directory called menu and inside this menu directory we will be creating our main menu that is the options menu so to create a menu what we need to do we need to right click on this menu directory and we need to click on new and we create this menu resource file so let's create that and now we need to provide in a file name so let's call our main menu main underscore menu so main underscore menu so now let's press enter or let's click on ok here and now we are presented with this thing that is a menu xml file and inside this menu xml file we will be defining our items that are these items that is the search item the profile icon the edit icon and so on and so forth like the settings compose delete and login so firstly let me define a single item here so that we can see that what we are doing exactly so we can define an item that is the menu item like this and we can provide it a title like this and the first title would be settings like this because inside each and every application you might be having this item that is a single item called settings and now we can simply close this menu item like this and what do we see on the right side that we have this settings item inside our menu here that is we see three dots here and then we can see the settings item here so what more attributes this item can take it can take an icon here so let's provide an icon here and to provide an icon we need to create a drawable for the icon so let's go to the drawable folder and right click here we create a new vector asset and let's change our vector asset from edit to settings so we can add a settings asset or a settings vector asset like this so let's click on ok and this is called ic settings black 24 dp though i have changed the color and in your case this might be 000 and that is for black color but i want to have it white so i have changed the color to fff so now let's click on next and now let's click on finish so now inside this drawable folder we have this icon here that is ic settings black though it is white so let me close this and we want to provide that settings icon here inside our item here so let me provide that item by doing this that is add drawable ic settings black like this and almost for each and every menu item you need to have an item id so let's provide our id like this so it's a typical id which you provide in views so let's call this id action settings and basically the id inside the menu is provided like this that is action underscore settings though even if you provide this thing here that is settings it would also work but normally it's provided like action underscore settings like this 
and now there is one more parameter here or one more attribute which you can add to your item here and that is shows as action and now here we see that it takes in five values that is never always collapse action view with the text and if room so what never means never means that this item should only be displayed inside the pop-up menu that is inside this menu here that whenever inside the shows as action attribute you provided never then that item would always be displayed inside this block here that is inside this pop-up menu and not here so it would be displayed here that is that is the meaning of never that is it is never displayed inside the app bar and what always means always means that that item should always be displayed inside the app bar no matter what the case is it would always be displayed inside the app bar and not inside this overflow menu and about the collapse action view we'll be talking about when we'll be creating this item that is the search item and what if room means that the item should be displayed inside the action bar if there is room for that item to be displayed so like if you have seven eight items here then the item would not be displayed and if you have three four items here then there is a space for one item here then that item can be displayed here inside the action bar so that is the meaning of if room and for with text and collapse action view we'll be talking about in a moment so firstly let me add some more items inside our menu resource file so firstly what i'm going to do i'm going to add some vector assets so you saw that how do we add a vector asset so let me fast forward it so now we see that I have added these drawables here that is the delete drawable, the edit drawable, uh, the person drawable and the search drawable and the settings drawable we added before itself. So now let me close these drawables because we do not need them but we need them inside our main menu. And now here what I am going to do I am going to add some more items here. So let me copy this thing here. So let me copy it and let me provide this shows as action to be never here like this. So that it should be shown only inside the overflow menu and now let me copy this uh, item here and let me paste it some more times here and we are going to change the id and the title here so now let's say the first title should be profile so let's call this profile and the id of this uh, profile would be action profile like this and then we need to provide an icon here and this should be IC person black. So the second item I want is the delete item like this and then the ID would be action delete and let me change the icon itself. So IC delete and this would be edit and this would be IC edit and the ID would be action underscore edit. So fourth item let it be settings itself and now let's look at the fifth item and the fifth item should be search so search and then ic underscore search like this and let's also change the id here and this should be search like this so now let's run this application and let's see that what do we have inside our menu and i'm sure that the menu won't be displayed inside your android application because we haven't inflated the menu inside our main activity and if we go back here to our emulator we see the menu isn't displayed here and why is that so because we need to override one method inside our main activity or any activity in which you want to add the menu so firstly let's go to our main activity and let's add the menu to our activity so to do that you need to override one method and that is and that method is called on create options menu so on create options menu here like this and then what you need to do to inflate the menu firstly we need to get the menu inflator so menu inflator menu inflator equal to get menu inflator like this and then we can inflate the menu using this menu inflator menu inflator dot inflate and here it takes in two parameters that is the menu resource and the menu and this menu is this menu which is com coming inside this on create options menu as a parameter here so we use this method that is inflate and here we need to pass in the id of the menu we created and that menu is called r.menu.main menu this is the menu we created and now here it takes the second parameter the menu and that is this thing here so let me provide the menu here like this and then finally we need to return true because this method that is on create options menu asks us to return a boolean here so 
since we have inflated the menu therefore we are returning true here so we can remove this thing here that is the super call here like this and now if we run our application we'll be seeing our main menu inside our application so we see the three magic dots and if we click on this we see that our menu is displayed here but the icon isn't displayed and all the items are inside this overflow menu so now let's put this profile inside the action bar and then this search button or the search item inside the action bar itself so how do we do that so let's go to our menu main menu.xml file and since we want this profile to be displayed inside the action bar we need to change this thing here that is this attribute that is shows as action and to show this profile item inside the action bar always what we need to provide here we need to provide here always that is we want this item to be displayed in the action bar always and then we want the search item to be also displayed in the action bar so we go to the search item here and we change this attribute that is the so shows as action and we'll change it to always like this so now let's run this application again and let's see that what do we have so we see the profile item is shown here and the search item is shown here and the overflow menu only contains these items that is the delete and edit and settings item here so now you know that what never means and what always means so now let's look at what if room means so basically if room means that if there is an item that is let's go back to our resource file here so now suppose this edit action was provided shows as action attribute as if room so this item that is this edit item would be shown inside the action bar only if there is room inside the action bar so if the room is not available here so then that item would not be displayed so now since we only have two items here that is displayed inside our action bar so there is a room for one more item here so if we change the shows as action attribute to if room so then this item would be displayed inside our action bar because there is room available inside our action bar so let's see if the edit item is displayed inside the action bar so let's run this application and let's go back again so android provides that only two items should be displayed at most inside your action bar apart from this menu button here therefore there is no room available but now let me change the profile to be never here like this so now let's run this application again and let's go back and this time we see we are getting this edit item here because there is room for one item more here inside our action bar so that is what is the meaning of if room so now let's change this profile to be always as it was before and now let's look at what with text means so now let's again go back to our application once and now let's try to rotate the device so let me rotate the device so we see that the item is shown here that is the this edit item and this search item here and then we have the overflow menu and now with text means that this item would be shown with text inside our action bar so let's change the edit item that has the attribute shows as action equal to if room and then we can provide one more value here that is with text so this item would be displayed with text inside our action bar and this with text works only in landscape mode and not in the portrait mode so let's provide this with text to this profile thing here that it has the shows as action as always so we can provide another value here and that is with text so now let me run this application and let's go back again here so we see that inside the portrait mode the text is not displayed beside our icon here and now if we rotate the device and now we can see the text is displayed beside the item and that is the meaning of with text and now we see one more thing that is this edit item is shown here inside the landscape mode because there is room inside this action bar here and therefore the if room goes into effect so now one more thing remains and that is collapse action view so for that let's go back to our application again and here we have this search item here that has the icon of search and then the id of action search and it has the shows as action attribute to be always so now let's provide one more attribute with always and that is collapse action view and for this collapse action view to work you need to provide one more attribute inside this uh, item here and that is the action view class so let me provide the action view class and since it is a search item so we provide this thing here that is android x dot app compat dot widget dot search view let's run this application and let's see that what it provides us 
So now whenever we click this item that is the search item here. So let me click the search item here and we see that the action bar is collapsed and we have the search view visible here and the keyboard is automatically displayed and we are getting this back button here. So it depends that how do you want to use the search view and if you don't know that how to use the search view then you can go and watch my video about filtering recycler view where I explained in detail that how the search view works. So you can go and watch that video. So basically this is how you can add menu inside your application and depending on your use case you can add items to the action bar or to this overflow menu here. And in the next video we'll be seeing that how do we handle the item click events on these menu items.